slivers, slivers, timber! Randy! Randy! Don't call me Randy! How'd you pick up that phone? Who the heck is calling? It's 2 a.m. Who is calling at 2 a.m.? Hello? Hello, Terrell? Ter Hello? Terrell? Hello? Terrell, you there? Oh, hold on. Hold on, I gotta take the cap off. Terrell? Who is this? Yeah, this is William. William? You know what time it is? Uh, I thought it was noon. Noon, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh, is that early, huh? Yeah, you woke me up. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I got a problem with my tractor. What do you want? Well, when I when I put my blade uh, engage my blades, they, they don't shut off. They just keep spinning all the time. Well, can it just wait till morning? Come when I open at 8 a.m., not 2 a.m. Well, I'll try to mow right now. And 2 a.m. in the morning, you're mowing grass? Well, yeah, stuff's got to get done. You're crazy. All right, hold, hold on, Terry. I got another call coming in. Yeah, hi, yeah, this is William. Okay, all right, yeah. All right, let me call you back. All right, hold on, I got another guy. Hold on. Terry. Well, bring it at 8 o'clock when I open. Oh, that, that's when you open, 8 o'clock, huh? Yeah, I am not open at 2 a.m. Who's cutting grass at 2 a.m.? Only a knucklehead like you. Oh, well, well, hey, you got all this land, you gotta get it cut. Well, you know what? Just come back at, at 8 a.m. Don't you have a clock? Uh, I got a clock somewhere, I can't find it. Your neighbors don't mind you cutting grass at 2 a.m. in the morning? I live out on acreage. Oh, okay, well... Bring it in at 8 a.m. when I open, and I'll take a look at it. All right, Terrell, we'll do. Okay, bye. All right. Knucklehead following me, 2 a.m. What the heck these people think? I just fix lawnmowers 24-7? No wonder I got nightmares. All right, now, where was I? All right, today's video is going to be on that... Craftsman 42 inch mower that knucklehead William calling me at 2 a.m. because his blades were hanging up. Now, this is a lever here, Mr. Cameraman. If you've got this Craftsman mower, they make this mower under a bunch of different names. They make it under Central Park, they make it under Poolin, Craftsman. But anyone that's got this lever for engaging the blades, now there's a cable that hooks to that, to that lever, and William's problem is when he went to disengage the blades, the blades were still spinning because the mechanism that operates the, the engagement has got some uh, divots in it, and it's hanging up, and it won't release, so it'll stop the blades from spinning. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is lower the deck all the way down, and then you're going to need yourself a pair of pliers to pull all those quick pins on there. Makes it easier. So first thing we're going to do is over here is you're going to, we're going to pull off the cable. So you can see where the cable is. Can you see that Mr. Cameraman? And at the end of the cable is a washer and a quick pin. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. Can you see that Mr. Cameraman? No, he said he can't, but there's a pin under here. So you pull that pin, and you take off the washer. See, I just was able to pull that, and then you pull the cable off. Then you're going to want to come back here. There's another quick pin. You can pull that one out. And then the cable comes out, and there's a little slot. See, there's a little keeper that goes in front of it. So when you go to put it back on, and then that's where this pin goes in here, like this. So we've got that off, got the cable off. So now we're going to take the belt off. And then just slip it off. Slip it around the guy. Now, you're going to want to pull these quick pins in the back. This one's all full of grass because William was out cutting that grass 2 a.m. 
you want to pull them off in the back. Now they might be a little hard. These are easy. And then there's one on the other side. In the back. Gotta get that light in so you can see. Now if they're tough, like this one is, you're gonna want to use the pliers on it. Now I gotta go get the pliers. Ugh. Old man gotta lay on the floor. Yeah, this one's tough. There. Now there's one back here. There's a stabilizer back here. Let me get that light again. See, there's one back here. Now a lot of times this bracket will loosen up and sometimes break, so check that. Pull that off, pull that off. Now we just got two more in the front. Now I kind of jacked it up a little bit, but I'm going to let down. One here, and one on the other side. And I like to take these arms, and it'll come out. I have to lift up on the deck, and I like to fold these arms in like this. Hold them in like that. Now we got to take this off, back here. Pull this off. And then same on the other side. Lift up on the, lift up on the deck. All right, now take your engagement, raise it back up. Now it should all be clear, everything's clear. Now you can just slide the deck out. There you go. There's your dinner on that. Now while you got it off, check these, these trunnions up here. These things get wear, in, wear marks in them, so you might want to replace them. See, these are loose. They shouldn't be loose. They should be tightened up. But see, they're starting to wear. These aren't too bad. These parts are inexpensive. Now, the reason I fold it like this, this acts like a handle now. Now you can grab this deck in the front like this. You can pick it up, move it around, see? So the problem is with this engagement here, hanging up. So I want to show you how to fix that. Okay, we got the deck removed off of that rod mower. So I'm going to show you the problem here. See, that thing's hanging up. It ain't returning. See, it's all hung, hanging up on there. And that's the problem right there. See that divot that got wore in there? So I'm going to show you how to take this off. 9 sixteenths. Pull this off. Pull this off here. Take off that spring. Carriage bolt, washer. I'll show you how to put this all back together. See how rusty that is? We're gonna lube this all up and clean all this rust and all. That's all from the grass did that. The water in the grass. See, got a close look. See that divot? We gotta get that out of there. Now most shops will just replace this part. You don't have to replace it. All we gotta do is clean up that divot. And see, there's another one here. We gotta clean that one up too. And I'm gonna show you how to do that over there on the bench grinder. Now another thing you can do is you can fill that in with weld if you got a welder, but we don't have to. So I'm just gonna grind it. Now remember, have your safety glasses on. grind this with the wizard wheel. All right, with the wizard wheel, I'm gonna grind that out. Hmm. 
Now, if you don't have a wizard wheel, you could use a file. And the next thing you're going to want to do is clean up all these parts. Clean this up. Clean all that rust off of there. You can use a wire brush. Or if you got an air tool with a wire brush, you could do it. Or a bench grinder. You can clean these up. Clean this all up on the bench grinder if you got a wire wheel. See, I buffed that all that rust off of there. All right, I'm going to touch on some points of these decks, these, these Craftsman decks. They're real simple decks. One thing you want to check are these arms. Make sure they're not wore through. And they got that little pad on there and that these move free. That they're not sticking. Make sure they move free. Now they have a couple different return spring on these. This is one type and they have this curly Q spring is another type that fits on here. That's on a different model. So I noticed a couple of things when I was taking this apart other than, you know, us grinding those notches out. Here's one. That pin where the cable hooks on. That's almost wore through because this is a cable operated one. They have another one that works with steel rods that hook into here. But this is a cable operated one. So we're going to want to change that. This is that return spring. Look at that spring, almost busted off. So we're gonna wanna put a new one of them on. And that's uh, part number 169022. And then here, listen to these pulleys. Listen, see? That ain't making no noise. Listen to this one. Look at that, sounds like gravel in there. So we're gonna have to replace that. So I went ahead and went up to my bedroom and got me the new bolt the new spring and a new pulley. So we're gonna replace all these parts. We gotta put this on first before we go putting this back on and then I'm gonna reassemble it, show you how to put it on the right way. Another thing to look for when you got these decks off is you're gonna wanna check these spindles. So, look at this one here. See, that ain't spinning free. I gotta, look, I can't get it to spin. So that means these bearings are bad. So I'm going to want to replace them. Now we're going to go ahead and goober this up. Now we got everything clean. Get everything clean, rust free. Get all the rust off of everything. You can see where this was, was wearing on here. Where it was rocking. So we're going to goober it up. Never seize or grease. Whatever you got. I like using never seize. Goober it up. Goober it up. Now here's that stop tab. So you're going to want to stick. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Got to put the washer on. Goober it up, goober it up. Then your carriage bolt. Where's my carriage bolt? That goes in. Now this goes on. It's your big flat washer. Make sure you're on this side of that stop. Now we're going to goober it up some more. Goober it up, goober it up. Now your spacer with that little collar on it, that goes down. Now this, now you can see this here, this part, you can see where that was wearing. This goes like this, right on top, all the way up against here. That's the right spot for that. So just, when you put this on, just make sure you push it over to where it stops there. And tighten it down right up against there. Here's our spring. This one's bad. That hooks into here. And that hooks into there. Now watch. Woo! Woo! Ain't hanging up no more like it was. See, and it's releasing those brakes. Look at it, slicker than snot. Slicker than snot. Woo! Woo! Slicker than snot. Now I'll show you how to put this back on and how to make sure you get the belt around these brake pads. So if you got belt covers on there, make sure you take them off. Don't get lazy when you're trying to put these uh, belts on. Because I've seen people run the belts around the outside of here and start up the lawnmower and burn the belt all up, smoking and smelling like burning rubber like they're doing a burnout. Okay, I want to put a new belt on this one. Here's the deck. We put all the new pulleys. We got all this freed up. Got the new belt. They give me a diagram on how to route it. 
full break back. You want to go around it. Go across the back. Want to get around that break. Then we come around here flat. Then we want to come around here on the inside of this. Go around these tabs. There, that's how simple that is. Oh, Mr. Tab, here's one there. See? Now we're ready. Now all you gotta do is slide it back under and rehook it up. Slide it back under. And we get that light. Bring this down. Slide it back. Can you hold that, Mr. Cameraman? Shine that light in there. Lift it up. Get it on there. Don't be afraid to manhandle it. Wiggle it around. Put that pin in. Now we're going to go to the other side. Get that on. Find the hole. Put the clip in. I don't drop it, lose it. Hook up the stabilizer back here. Wiggle it around. Put the clip in. Gravity's in the front now. There we go. There's my dinner. Grab a clip, put it in there. Now, take the belt. Get a shot over there. Now take the belt, hook it up, wrap it around. Now we gotta hook up the cable. All right, here's the cable. Gotta slip it through here. It fits in that little opening. Then you gotta put that little plastic clip over it. See that? Then you gotta put the this clip in there to hold it. A little tricky. I have faith in, in y'all. Come on. Like I said, it's a little tricky. Come on, you little bugger. There we go. Now reach under here, find that stud, put the spring on, then the washer, then the clip. I know you can't see it, but you got a feel for it. Find the hole, put the clip in. All right, there we go. Now I can feel the tension on it. Hear it? You see that working? I got deck back on, I checked every day, made sure nothing was hitting or rubbing or anything, so I want to fire it up. 